thanks to grants awarded by Shenandoah Valley Electric Cooperative and the Frederick County Educational Foundation, a group of Sharando High School students is building an electric vehicle that will participate in the Shenandoah Valley Electric Vehicle Grand Prix later this year. Sharando Technology Education teacher Ron Vickers learned about the Grand Prix last fall and jumped at the opportunity to have students build a car and participate. Well, I hope mainly my students will learn how to work together as a team because I keep hearing from industry time and time again that teach them to communicate, teach them to write technically, teach them to do the basic stuff we don't think about. Obviously, I want them to learn some content also. Um, personally, I've always been interested in racing and anything related to cars, so it's just kind of been a nice way for me to relate to the class and really get interested in what we're doing. And just having that hands-on experience has also been really nice. Since receiving the car kit in January, the students have made great progress in building the vehicle. The class I worked in, I worked on the steering alignment, and what I did was grind down the wheel spacers in order to get it to fit correctly. I helped put the chassis together, and I also helped put the steering spindle together when we were assembling it initially. I learned that while one person can be working on another thing, that uh, the rest of the group can also just work together and each person can have their individual jobs as long as it helps the whole. Definitely the soft skills are something that I really picked up on, just being able to communicate with others and really dive deep into what we're supposed to do and how we're going to achieve our goals and how to get through the instructions, make sure we're assembling everything properly. You know, talking to others, communicating, and kind of coming up with new ideas for problems that we came across. In the coming weeks, assembly of the vehicle will continue, and the students will collaborate with the auto body program at the Dal J. Howard Center to get the car a custom paint job. We'll have another update on this project in several weeks. <laughs>